With such high temperatures enveloping Brittany lately, it's beginning to feel like we live in the south of France. So we're on the north side of the chateau. Everyone's a little testy this morning <laughs> because <laughs> we're trying to figure out how to get these shutters behind us or behind the hydrangeas off the building without um, crushing one or both of us. One or both of us. So there's a little <laughs> bit of a there's a little bit of tension between us right now. I feel. Yeah. I don't want to hurt you, my love. Yeah, uh-huh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to remove all the, the shutters and get them ready to sand and then paint them. And we have chosen a color. Yes. Which we will not reveal <laughs> until everything's done. Well, I don't know. Uh, we don't know how we're going to do that. Maybe we'll do one window and you can see it and then type and say... That looks ugly, <laughs> or I love it. <laughs> anyway, Yay. so we're going to do the window, and we're going to film it. So hopefully we won't be filming. A death. Uh, so the hydrangeas are too close to the building, so we're going to cut some of them down so we have room to um, remove the shutter. OK, so what is the plan here? We're going to lift this off the hinges. And when it gets off the hinges, pull the bottom out a little and keep the top against the wall and try and okay, slide. So what am I, what's my job? Well, you're going to be Tell on that again. side. You're going to be holding this side. Okay. Um, and we're just going to slide it down. And we're attempting to, to lift it off the hinge. Count to 50? <laughs> on three. One, two, three. All right, there we go. Oh, okay. It's working. Okay. That's lighter than I remember. I think we've gotten stronger. So we'll put it with the yeah. hardware up. Okay. Okay. See you in there. <laughs> <laughs> boards on the tower so we can get up there and start cleaning. <laughs> Here we are trying to explain something, and Lincoln is making fun of me. When we're filming together, we usually have to do several takes. We're either bickering or laughing. In this clip, we're trying to explain how we have windows in the doors and are putting in screen material so the bugs, butterflies, and birds can no longer fly so in. This is one set of doors, and you can see how they open. And we're just going to affix some do double-sided tape and then hang the screen material. Maybe we'll eventually find a more permanent solution. Yeah, this is just temporary because it's, <laughs> it's been so hot and um, it's nice to open everything in the mornings to get some air flowing. We can also leave them open at night. I was just always afraid of bats flying in because we've had bats in the house before. And it's not fun to have bats flying around your bedroom at night. Lincoln didn't seem to care. Right, bats, schmats. Yeah. <laughs> I would wake up screaming and he would be like, oh, go back to bed. But we did get them out eventually. And in France, it's illegal to harm a bat. So you have to not get that, them out. Not that we would anyway. No, we would never harm a bat. They're quite cute, but... Um, we aren't even kill spiders. We to put them outside. Yeah.
How's it going? Sticky? Yes. <laughs> Should work. Okay. And so now you have three more to do. It'll work. So this is our next project. This is our petit salon. And in the United States, you would call this a family room. So this is our next project. Uh, you can see we've done nothing to the room. We did peel down some wallpaper that was gonna come off pretty much on its own. Yeah, look at that, it's delightful. We need to get the rest of it off. Yeah. So there's plaster underneath and um, the paint just needs to be scraped off. So this is all plaster. The ceiling looks pretty good. It's just a lot of peeling paint. And it's there are a few- It's a really cool ceiling. Yeah, it's, um, what would you say? It sort of reminds me of a- it looks nautical, it does. but it, then it has like roses flowers. on it, flowers on it, so I'm not sure. Yeah, but each ceiling on the ground floor is different in each room. And this is all plaster. And I think we'll probably keep the curtains. Um, I kind of like them. So they need a good cleaning. And none of this furniture will stay. This is all just, you know, things we put in here to get comfortable. And we will have a TV in here because this will be our, like Lincoln said, our family room. But it's a really pretty room. And it's got a beautiful fireplace over here. This room in particular, is this the only room with Four. It has doors, right. Four sets of doors. Four sets of doors. And we were told that that was used if you were having a party, say. These two doorways lead to the center hall. And then the ones on this side lead to the grand salon. So if you open them all up, you've got three, party house. three rooms for people to just mingle and yeah. flow through. We haven't done that yet, have we? <laughs> no. So this is our next project. One of our next projects, I should say. And this is all wood on the walls, except for basically the, the spots that have uh, wallpaper now are the only parts that are plaster. Everything else is wood and the ceiling is plaster. Yeah, yeah, this is all wood. This is all wood. I mean, the wallpaper's pretty, but it's just, you know, old and faded, so. Um, we will have, we will do some wallpaper in here, a little bit. Oh, you have a sample Yeah, there. I have a sample over there of, um, just an idea of what I'm thinking, so. And then So the Grand Salon, you want to lead the way? Oh, we're going to show that. Yeah, it's, it's really, this is the reality of living in a home that is being uh, restored, renovated, whatever you want to call it. So this is the Grand Salon, which has these, I think we already showed this in one of our previous videos, did we? All right, it's got two sets of doors. Two sets of doors. And this. This wall is so thick because it's one of the chimney walls. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the fireplace is on both sides, so it's like two and a half, three feet thick. 
Yep. So this room is currently home to um, pieces of furniture that will go elsewhere. Our new bathroom, so we have a toilet and <laughs> sinks, um, wiring, you name it. Tools. It's tools, it's in here. So we will be very excited to get this cleared out. Um, so we obviously do not use this room right now, but it's a beautiful room. The wood needs to be oiled, you know, a few repairs made. The ceiling is really pretty. It's a, more of a rope. Um, I'm sure there are proper names for <laughs> what that is, right? This pattern. And we need a chandelier. The room that I think sold me on the house. It's got the original mirror up top. So hopefully in a couple of months this will be cleaned out and um, we can start. You can start, Lincoln, by repairing this window. Yes. A big crack up there. We have to replace the glass. But this is a nice set of doors. This is Lincoln's favorite thing about this room. So these, these are shutters. All of our windows are this size, or most of the windows in the house are this size. And how, how these... big are the windows? Um, what do you, oh, I, I what think would you say? I think they're about 10 feet tall by, looks like about five feet wide. Yeah. And, you know, the, it's really clever the way they make these windows because one fits into the other. Let me close them. But the other thing that's really cool is the shutters. So, so tell me about the shutters. They attach. The, the mechanism that opens and closes the window also has tabs on it. So you can put these shutters, close them, and they, they lock. Oh. <laughs> that one didn't lock, but yeah. And the shutters are painted uh, faux bois, if you can see. You can see it on the hinges most clearly. Mm -hmm. that Somebody painted all this. They, they paint wood grain. Yeah. And I'm assuming this is, this was done once. On yeah, these. I think so. So this is very old paint. And this is, this is actually plaster and this was um, done the same way with the faux bois. And yeah, unfortunately, the swirl up there. yeah, cool. the swirl is neat. But unfortunately, over the years, uh, people become careless and you open when you open the windows, you know, the sort shutters. of like the, the window, the shutters, I'm sorry. The tabs over there. The tabs. If you're not careful, they dig into the plaster. Yeah, so you can see this tab here, you know, damaged. But I think I've been guilty of that in other rooms. You know, you <laughs> sort of, well, it, it's, they don't always open as planned and you can right. have an incident. But again, I think we mentioned it before, having all the original shutters and windows, windows in the chateau really made a difference uh, for us when we, we bought the place. So there's a lot of work, but we'll get it done at some point. On to the next, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if everybody has a room like this in their house where they have a bunch of junk. We have a dog bed here. <laughs> it's just... Oh, there's so much. 
And this, this room has a beautiful fireplace too. I'm finally starting to make some progress on the large guest bedroom. Priming is underway. So this is the first time you're going to try the drone since you've yes. prepared it. So what, what happened to it? Tell the people what you did. <laughs> Do I have to fess up? <laughs> um, back in June, I flew the drone into the top of tree over there, probably close to a hundred feet up and the tree is so thick with leaves, it just stayed there. Luckily, we had a bad windstorm a few days later, and it fell out of the tree. But when it fell out of the tree, one of the arms had broken. So I had to replace it, which involved some soldering, which I haven't done in many, many years. So we'll see how it goes. We really need a drone with a sensor. There are drones that they cost more, but they have sensors to avoid collisions with yeah. things. <laughs> it's alive. Hey, it works. Good job. It does work. So it's about 7 p.m. and um, this is the time we usually water the garden uh, because it's been so hot lately. There are water restrictions in France. I think we're under a yellow alert, which I think you can water from 
you know, before 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. I'm not sure the exact time, but we have well water, um, but I don't water in the afternoons anyway. It's usually early in the morning. So the hardest part about having a big garden without any irrigation system is moving the hose from one part of the garden to the next. So we got this rolly thing on wheels and it's got two spigots. So I have one hose connected to a sprinkler and then another hose with just a nozzle. So moving it around is my least favorite thing to do. I usually call Lincoln out, but he's busy working on the drone right now. I'm hoping it works. So I have to move this thing around the garden. And this hose is super heavy. This is a new hose we just bought. <clears throat> Especially when it's full of water. Enzo, come back. So I'm trying to get the hose up to my tomatoes because they haven't been watered in three days. So we need to install some kind of system or someone suggested that we just run uh, water, dig a trench, and then we can have spigots um, at different points of the garden so we don't have to drag this thing around. We're still working everything out. It's, everything's a work in progress here.